Yes, hello everyone. It's a great pleasure to uh, uh, address the Global Young Academy and your really important gathering. Uh, this is a very special time, as we all know, and uh, I think an entry point uh, which could be important in your discussions is that we have so much scientific evidence that the corona crisis and the pandemic we're today experiencing is a broader manifestation of the Anthropocene. This suggests that uh, next generation of interdisciplinary global sustainability scientists are more important than ever to understand the coupled human environment functioning and systems and influence of the entire planet for us to become governors of the global commons within planetary boundaries for planetary stewardship for the future, but also to explore transformation pathways back to a safe and just space on Earth. Now, this originates from all the scientific evidence that I'm sure many of you are involved with, showing that the corona crisis and the climate crisis and the biosphere crisis, in fact, are integrated in one integral component of our future on Earth. The evidence that virus spillovers causing these kind of zoonotic disease outbreaks is on the increase in the Anthropocene related to ecosystem destruction, that global warming can enforce these, combined with risky human behavior with wildlife trafficking, trade, and our hyper-connected world of travel and transport, altogether a perfect cocktail for these kind of pandemic outbreaks. So it's not a question of seeing this as a black swan. On the contrary, a quite predicted outcome in the Anthropocene. And now the question is, how can we transform into a more resilient future within a stable Earth system? Six months before the corona crisis, actually the scientific community stepped up and proposed that we now must consider declaring a state of planetary emergency as a reflection of the scientific evidence of us approaching nonlinear, potentially irreversible and abrupt tipping points in the Earth system. We have the planetary health community, the public health and the medical community declaring a planetary health initiative three, four years back already and making clear that planet sustainability and human health are integral parts of navigating the Anthropocene. So as you see, all of this comes together towards an interdisciplinary global sustainability science if we are to stand any chance of delivering on the sustainable development goals. I would even argue that today the drama is, is, is so clear. Unless we transition into a stable state of the Earth system, we will fail on the sustainable development goals already by 2030 because we are already in the decisive decade of humanity's future on Earth in the sense that we know from the climate science that we have to cut global emissions by half in a decade to stay on a path that gives us a reasonable chance of stabilizing into a manageable climate system well below 2 degrees Celsius global mean temperature rise. We also know that the only way to keep that stability of the climate system depends on us being active stewards of all the other systems that regulates the stability of the Earth system, the planetary boundary agenda. Now, all this boils down together again towards opening up tremendous opportunity for scholarly research and for policy engagement to accelerate and scale the innovations, transformations, and particularly the equity dimensions of a pathway towards a safe and just future for us all on this little blue marble that we all call our home. Good luck with your deliberations over this meeting. Thank you.